Well, they finally did it. After years of ups and downs, and for Blues fans, there certainly were a lot of downs, Jake Allen is no longer a member of the St. Louis Blues organization. Say those words out loud. Jake Allen is no longer a St. Louis Blue. Tell me if you actually believe those words. Because if you're having a hard time there's a very good reason for that. He was a member of the St. Louis Blues for 12 years. This was a guy who was drafted in 2008. Do you even remember 2008? I don't have clothes that old. Oh, yeah. But we're getting beside the point here. In a move that absolutely no one saw coming, except for maybe Doug Armstrong himself, the Blues sent Jake Allen and his $4.35 million cap hit, along with a 2022 seventh round pick, because why not? For a third round pick from the Washington Capitals this year, and a seventh round pick from the Chicago Blackhawks, because you've always got to take a chance to own the Blackhawks when you can, and that includes owning their draft picks, I guess. Oh, and by the way, I've got my bucket on today because Blue's social media is an absolute feeding frenzy today. Follow us on Twitter at Blue Notes Pod and join in on the conversation because Blue's social media is so lit today. Jake Allen was public enemy number one for the longest time in St. Louis. It seemed like he could never get his head right, allowing soft goals, not protecting the near post, getting beat high glove side when he would dip his shoulder on wrist shots. The guy was a mess for the longest time. And the only reason he was in St. Louis for as long as he was, was his $4.35 million cap hit that rendered him virtually unmovable for the longest time. But let's face facts, he was pretty good in these playoffs. The NHL, and goaltenders for that matter, really have the old adage applied to them. What have you done for me lately? And lately, Jake Allen was pretty good. He played five games in the 2019-20 playoffs, started four of them, had a 2-1-1 and record, but the important numbers, a 1.89 goals against average and a 935 save percentage. Pretty darn good numbers. And that's probably why the Blues were able to move him at all. That and the fact that Allen has one year left on his deal, so he represents uh, a lot less risk for a team uh, that has the cap space to actually have him on the team. And for the Montreal Canadiens, it makes a lot of sense. Carey Price has played the most games in the last two years than any NHL goaltender, and it's over like 120 games, I believe. So he needed a solid backup to give him a breather here and there and keep him fresh for the playoffs, which, as we saw with the Canadians this year, whenever Carey Price is rested, the Canadians can go places. But I know when a lot of you saw that they just got a third rounder for Jake Allen, you thought it was a low return. Well, consider this. Goaltenders over the past few years don't ever really seem to get the value that you think they should get. Remember, the Blues traded Brian Elliott a few years ago to the Calgary Flames in a draft day deal for a second-round pick, which became Jordan Cairo, by the way. But you don't see goalies traded for those kind of picks unless they're really, really good. And Jake Allen has some question marks. In fact, another goaltender uh, that is one of the you know best goaltenders the Blues have faced in the playoffs in the last couple of years was traded in 2017 for a fourth round pick. You know who that goalie was? Ben Bishop. Ben Bishop, a guy who had proven himself in the NHL to be a good goaltender, maybe had an injury issue or two, but he only got traded for a fourth round pick. And unlike Jake Allen, Ben Bishop is actually good on a consistent basis. Now, I'm not a Jake Allen hater per se. I'll call a spade a spade. And when he's playing good, he's playing very well. But again, the issues with Jake Allen were always in between the ears. Physically, he had the tools. He was pretty durable, but the guy just got the yips for whatever reason. And now he gets a change of scenery. He gets to back up a legendary, well, at least in terms of contract, goaltender in Montreal. 
uh, whoa, Horsey, I don't want to call Carey Price a legend quite yet. But besides Montreal having the need, there was another reason that Jake Allen was traded today. Perhaps the biggest reason of them all. Part of it is finances, but also they got to sign this guy. And let's face it, folks, he's not going to get paid in Provel cheese. He wants actual money. And this could be just the start of a big offseason for the Blues because even with the Jake Allen trade, they only have $6.3 million in cap space, according to Cap Friendly. And Petrangelo's probably going to want a little more than that. And not only that, but you got Vince Dunn as well. Maybe he gets moved this offseason. He's a restricted free agent, but there's a good possibility that the Blues could get a good return for Vince Dunn. Maybe move him on to, say, the Rangers, for instance, who could use a good puck-moving left-handed defenseman like Vince Dunn. I've already had a couple Rangers fans come up to me since the Jake Allen trade today and say, hey, I won Vince Dunn. Here's a first-rounder and a prospect. And I'm like, okay. But you've also got other big contracts like Tyler Bozak, Alex Steen, uh, Jaden Schwartz is going to be a free agent soon. Does he move on this offseason? Perish the thought. I like Jaden Schwartz too. Let's face it. The Blues have a finite amount of money, and the pandemic ain't helping with that. So they got to make some tough decisions here pretty soon. But they also got to find teams that actually have the money for these guys. They were lucky with Montreal. Montreal has oodles of money available. But who else is in Montreal's cap situation right now? I bet you're looking right now, aren't you? And of course, does this mean that those Pareko rumors aren't going to come true after all, and he won't be the next great Toronto Maple Leafs defenseman, much to the chagrin of Maple Leafs fans everywhere on the internet? Maybe. Let us know in the comments below what you think of the trade. Where do you think the Blues go from here? Do you think it's time for Ville Husso to take the backup job in St. Louis? Do you think that Petrangelo gets signed at all? Or do you think maybe they're clearing out money for something else? I don't know what it could be, but, uh, you know, it's fun to speculate, right? Let us know in the comments below whether you're watching this on Facebook at Blue Notes Pod, on Twitter at Blue Notes Pod, or on our YouTube page. <sighs> Jake Allen is no longer a St. Louis Blue. I never thought this day would come. Au revoir, Jake the Snake. Yes, sir, I'm a blues fan. Yes, sir, I'm a blues fan. Heartbreak's all I knew, man. That team from old St. Lou, man. Got a cup in here, 52, man. Give me a let's go blues. <laughs>